All right, we're back in the studio and we are talking about the Nokia 1020. Now the Nokia 1020 is uh, Nokia's flagship phone that they're coming out with. They're releasing it and it has this tremendous 41 pixel, uh, megapixel uh, camera. And you just saw um, the promo video that they're coming out with, you know, the commercial video they're going to be releasing on all the major networks uh, uh, promoting their Nokia 1020. But also, what is coming out to the Nokia uh, line of flagship phones is the Nokia Pro Camera app. Now, this app has definitely uh, some good features on it, and it's coming to the Nokia Lumina 920, 925, and 928 models. So, for those of you that uh, have the Nokia 920, 925, 928, you're not left out. Nokia didn't leave you out. No, you're going to be able to use this Pro Camera app, but it's really for the Pro uh, um, Camera uh, in the Nokia Lumina 1020. Because the, that, that was really made for that. But on um, the Nokia Pro Camera, the application taking center stage on the photography focus Nokia Lumina 1020 will be making its way to more of the company's smartphones. A post on Nokia's official blog notes that the app will come to PureView branded Lumina phones. Just PureView branded. Um, that's the 920, the 925, and the Nokia 928 as a part of this summer's Amber software update. Now remember, they were releasing this Amber update um, to their Nokia operating system. Now, the Pro Camera gives mobile um, photographers more in-depth shooting interfaces allowing them to adjust exposure sh exposure settings such as ISO and shutter speed owners of other phones won't be able to take advantage of the 1020's large 41 megapixel sensor on the other hand but of course um, the added control afforded by the app should go appreciated nonetheless so uh, this is definitely something that I think and we've said it already Nokia needs to come out with these apps. They need to come out with these different types of um, um, apps and uh, um, um, functions on their phones if they're going to compete. And this is what we're trying to tell Nintendo. If Nintendo wants to compete with PlayStation 4. They want to compete with Xbox One. And there's no point in saying that they don't really want to compete. Nintendo is its own uh, uh, entity and stuff like that. No, they need to compete because... This is where gaming is going. Just like that, Nokia knows they need to compete with Android. They need to compete with, with iOS. And so that's why Nokia is coming out with all these different um, functions and apps. And I'm, to tell you the truth, they're doing a good job of convincing me that their phones are back. Because Nokia used to be one of the premier phone makers back in the day. You know, and so now Nokia is, is doing a good job of convincing me that they're back and that they are willing to play with the big boys. So I'm telling you that um, if, if uh, Nintendo can do this, if Nintendo can be a part of this as far as the, um, how do we say it, as far as uh, uh, innovative to a point where they're competing with the other companies that have the same things as them because if you're not going to compete you're going to get left behind and that's what Nokia knows that's why Nokia came out with this line of phones and with this um, um, pro camera app known as their uh, uh, known as their their really for their um, for their 41 megapixel um, uh, 1020 camera you know but it's now going to be on the, the 920, 925, and 928 models. So definitely Nokia is doing all the right things in my opinion. And definitely Nokia is on the way up. Now, speaking of companies that are not on the way up, those of you who have played Infinity Blade, <clears throat> now I know many people uh, played Infinity Blade on their iOS device, I remember that game was very, very popular, you know, I mean, and lots of people have been looking forward to the new update to the game. They've been looking forward to Infinity Blade Dungeons <clears throat> for a long time. Well, 
According to sources at Digital Spy, the iOS game will not be released following the, the, cl the closure of the developer Impossible Studios, according to <coughs> a report by GameSpot. Yes, the developer uh, Impossible Studios has been closed. Now, chair and co-founder and creative director Donald Must uh, Mustard has promised that his studio will be working on more installments of the franchise in the future. According to him, he said it was a, it was a concept that originated from Epic and was an idea that we were happy to support. But when the studio working on Dungeons was closed, the game was canceled. And that's really all I can say, he said, on an Epic Games podcast. Now there's more we are at our chair are totally planning to do with the Infinity Blade universe. More games, more books, even other products. And we are very excited about that. However, Infinity Blade Dungeon was announced by Epic at an Apple iPad event in March 2012. The game was not originally created as an Infinity Blade title, but incorporated into the series after Epic Games was, were impressed by the project. In February, it was announced that Impossible Studios would be shutting down only six months after it was opened. And thus, the Infinity Blade Dungeons uh, sequel or franchise that was coming out has been cancelled. So, for those of you that have been waiting to see Infinity Blade, unfortunately, Infinity Blade will, oh, well, Infinity Blade Dungeons, anyway, has been cancelled. So, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to settle for the uh, trailer that was shown for Infinity Blade. We're going to just show you that trailer here real quick. We're going to show you that trailer here real quick. The Infinity Blade Dungeon announcement trailer. Uh, you know, just as a... Just as a, um, you know, a, a memento of uh, Infinity Blade Dungeon. Many of you might have remember seeing this. So we're just going to give a little tribute to the Infinity Blade Dungeon game that was unfortunately cancelled by showing you this trailer by Infinity Blade. Blade. So let's go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Making it bigger and let's do it. Yep. From Epic Games, the Infinity. And this thing is tight. This thing is top notch. Yeah. So if you are someone who likes the Infinity Blade series, if you're someone who likes the Infinity Blade series, this is definitely a game that you were looking forward to. Were. Looking forward to because the game has been cancelled. Hopefully, hopefully they will get this game back up and running for iOS devices. I mean, look at the look at the graphics on it. I mean, this is just this was just a good game. Just definitely high level graphically. You know, I mean, uh, it's no wonder why so many people love the Infinity Blade series. Even though this game wasn't originally an Infinity Blade game, but it became that when Epic heard about it. This game is top notch. It's sad that the company closed down. We're hoping that Epic will bring this game back, you know, sometime in the future. So we just have to wait and see, you know, if this thing actually comes back. But we're hoping that Epic will bring this game back. But as of right now, those of you that have been Infinity Blade loyalists and you wanted to see Infinity Blade Dungeons, unfortunately, that game has been cancelled. So, uh, just going to have to move on. That's all we can do. Now, according to another story by TechCrunch, we're getting into this. Google Alfred to, is going to shut down on the 19th of this month. How many of you have ever heard of Google Alfred? I, I mean, uh, David, have you ever heard of Google Alfred? Have you heard of Alfred? Who's Alfred? Exactly. The only Alfred you probably heard of is in the Batman series. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but you haven't heard of Google Alfred, and that's why this thing is being shut down because nobody's heard of it. Nobody's using these services, and this is all along the lines of Google cleaning up their, uh, you know, 
cleaning up their products and services and making everything a little bit more streamlined. Now, according to a report by TechCrunch, Google will shut down Alfred, uh, the local recommendations app, by July 19th. Now, you wonder, local recommendation, looks like Latitude wasn't the only Google product that got shut down yesterday uh, in, a, in a wake of a new version of Google Maps. Alfred, the local recommendation app that Google picked up through its acquisition in December 2011 of developer The Clever Sense, is getting shut down on July 19th. Now the news was posted in a notification in the app itself, pictured uh, 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 that the app itself that was pictured on the uh, Google Play Store, and which also notes that users have until July 12th, that is this Friday, that is today, to get in touch uh, through the app itself to request an archive of their data in the form of the places that they have tagged. Now, we're coming up on a break, but we're going to um, talk more about this. Was this something that Google should have shut down, or should they have put more emphasis on it? Should they have put more production, more advertising dollars towards it to promote it, or are they okay with shutting this down? We're going to talk about that and more coming up after the break right here on Tech Pulse. 